All right, let's do this. A good start, actually. Even better. Okay, we get double combo. Not a bad start, not a bad start. We're starting off strong. Starting off strong here. Not a bad start. Double combo is pretty nice. Pretty freaking nice. Can I win? Versus Pan and a little bit of food. No stamina though. No stamina though. No. That's okay though. That's okay. That's okay. This is still a pretty solid start. I think... I'm not gonna get Pig. I like the way this looks though. Mm. Will this win me the game? I think so. <laughs> I think so. I mean, I could just sell a heat. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell a heat. And then do this. I think that's a safer, safer play. Yeah. So now we have double DPS. Not to mention we got stone. And yeah, we win this one. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. By the way, this this is a very hard build. This is not consistent at all. I just think it's really, really cool though. I'm gonna pick this up. It's early. Yeah, I'm gonna pick it up because it's early. Okay. Do I get a chili? Yeah. I think I get a chili. I'll get a chili. At least one, right? It wouldn't hurt getting a chili. The healing, the debuff, taking away, you know, heat generation. I don't think it'll be bad. We'll win that one. Good game, good game. Okay. Actually, I'm not going to pick up chili here. Let me get these two. Get myself a molten dagger. And you know what? No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just not going to get chili. I'm just not going to get it. I don't think I want it. I'm glad we got oil lamp early though. I feel like oil lamp early helps us out a lot. There's that increase in damage. Those so oh. Oh. Getting that early? Very nice. Very, very nice. I think what I will do. Because we don't have two stones, I think we're just gonna sell shell totem. Instead of selling the burning torch. I think that's a better play. Yeah, I think that's a better play. So yeah, selling you, getting this. Yeah, I think that's the better play. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now we need to low key, W key some regeneration. Double shield, you hate me a lot but yeah we need to low-key w key some regeneration uh i think would be really really good i'm glad i got molten dagger at least that's doing 14 damage per hit 18 damage that probably hit the most amount of damage realistically oh hungry blade no no oh burning torch dude never mind well, i mean molten dagger did the same amount of damage as burning torch though so there's that um I'll get another B Nance just to help out with stamming out and definitely picking this up. Yeah. Okay. Not not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. We should win this one too. Looking good. Yeah, looking really good actually. Looking really, really good. No. Uh. No. Very nice, but I'm not going to pick it up. Just because I'm not going to use it. Well, I will use it, but I, I don't want to depend on it. That's the thing. I want this build. To, it's a mana build. It's not a freaking obsidian dragon build. No. No, no, no. Potion, yes. Very big yes. Yes. I'm gonna get you and we'll just buy that. I need all the space I can get. That's one thing I find myself like just being very bad with this build is the amount of space that you get is really, really bad. But one thing I do like about it is the daggers combined with the vampirism can be really good with healing. That's one thing I do like. So just like hungry blade with molten dagger. Ooh, on sale is nice. A little bit of vampirism. 
helps. I'm not going to get that, though. That's a little bit too expensive. I'd rather just go with the healing herbs. We have no mana generation. Can I get lucky? I'll take that, though. No mana generation sucks. Because this isn't going to do anything. <laughs> it's not going to do anything! I mean, there's nothing I can do about it, I guess. Unless I see some... Wow, you... You got all the mana generation in the world. You and your freaking super stone that you're cooking up. Lucky. Couldn't be me, I see. Man, that's so strong. Good game, though. We got a lot of health, so I'm not really too worried. Thank you. That helps a lot. But yeah, we got a lot of health, so, like... I'm not too bugged out right now. I wonder if I should try to min-max this uh, mana situation. Because I could. I could do this. Do you like something like this? Like, might not be too horrible. You know what I mean? And then just, boom, make this as fast as possible. Only missing two star slots. Yeah, like, this isn't bad, though. This is not bad. Not bad. I think we're doing pretty solid on space, too, so I'm gonna stop buying space. Unless it's on sale, but other than that, I'm gonna just stop buying space. Okay, six vamp. He's gonna be removing it, though, unfortunately. Damn, hitting this for 32 each. Sheesh. Okay. It's okay though. We're gonna we're gonna start getting lucky here. I didn't even have to say anything. I didn't even have to say anything. We started getting lucky. I will take this for a shizzle. And I'm gonna just put you right there. I can move you now. Like here. And that kind of just works. Okay. That was really lucky. I like getting those. But this combo is whew, scary. This guy is scary. He's removing my buffs too, so my prismatic orb basically doesn't even matter. Basically doesn't even matter, man. <gasps> no. I need to start seeing some blueberries in here. Wow. Do I want that? One point one. Do I want that? Is it worth it? I don't know. I actually don't know. I do want it, but like, do I want it now? You know what I mean? Like, that's the question. Our mana has been buns. No blueberries, one orb. But other than that, our mana has been buns. I think I'm gonna get it. Cause I'm gonna need it eventually. I don't have to put it on a board, but I'm gonna need it eventually. Looks like we're gonna win this one, thankfully. Not going against anything that removes buffs is very nice. Ooh. Unless I see a rabbit. If I see a rabbit, I'll be very happy. Maybe I should put it on the board. Just for the sake of getting that extra vampirism. Okay, I see a bunny. That's going to help us out a lot. So we probably buy that next round. More than likely. Because our stamina is going to suck. We can't handle three weapons with just two bananas. <laughs> I don't think so. At least we're not going to get somebody with a shield. But stamining out now. We're doing pretty good, though. To be fair. Probably because of the Molten Daggers. 14 Vampirism. And the Molten Daggers is just good. It's just good. The healing, most of the healing probably came from Vampirism. Five, 600? 620 healing from vampirism and i guarantee you it was because of the because we were stamping out on our weapons so molten daggers were probably doing the majority of that healing 
Sheesh, I'm so glad I got Molten Daggers. So glad I got Molten Daggers. So let's buy you. This should pretty much fix our uh, poor healing situation. I mean, poor stamina situation. Um, And I do want to get you, which I can just get you now. Yeah, this will work. This will work. That should be even more mana generation right there. Just to try to get this uh, thirst to proc. Hopefully. And then we're getting random buffs from uh, Rabbit as well, which is nice. If you notice, every time the, the freaking Molten Daggers hit, we just get like a bunch of health. I'm not going to get that. I need to find... Meh. I need to find mana orbs. Can I get this this right now? I can sell both of those. That'll give me 10. And I just sell two heat. I think that's a play. Because we're going to gain vampirism from these guys anyways. We don't really need... I mean, getting that extra vampirism would be nice. We don't really need it, per se. Probably just put it on this side. Or maybe not. I keep it like that. Yeah, okay. We're gonna rearrange next round. Next round's a rearrange round. Oh, stealing my buffs, I see. Starting out with nine vamp isn't bad, though. I'm just gaining more because of our items. But then again, he has a longevity build as well. 63 critical, please stop. Please don't crit me again. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. This is looking promising. I can't even fit you anywhere, so I'm not going to get you. Four rounds left. Man, we need some mana. Where's the mana items? Like, what? What is going on? Where's the mana items? Thank you. At least we see one. Even though we can't buy it. Maybe I shouldn't rearrange this round. I'll rearrange next round because we get these items, right? So we'll rearrange next round. Oh, that's a great sword. His placement is... What, what are these doing? We should win. <laughs> like, ah! I'm at a loss for words. I am at a loss for words. How? I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. Just give me these two items and get me to the rearranging. Should I get this? I'm gonna get it. It's on sale. Okay. I don't even want to talk about it. Stop talking about it. Don't even make a comment about it. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I don't. Give me these two. Eh, that's, that'll work. And then we can do boom, 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 and boom. Okay, so we'll put you here. This can go there. This one can go here. That looks good to me. Um, that can go there. That's that's not a bad spot. That can go there. And then we will do you here. Boom, boom. That goes there. We can turn you to a molten dagger. The rest of this just gets filled up with heat. Like that. And you can go wherever you want. Um, and then we'll do mana right here, maybe? It's not going to proc twice, but eh. Maybe that's okay? Or, I mean, I could also just... I don't know. Let's just put that there and then just move this here. Okay, that works. That works. And then uh, we can do something. All right, cool. And then the rest of the heat can just go in your rear. Okay, there we go. There we go. Wow. Double unhealing stabs? I don't know how I feel about that. Are we going to have enough DPS? We definitely have enough healing. I think we're going to have enough DPS. Ooh, not that proking. Okay, we're definitely gonna have enough DPS. Yeah, 
The 22 vampirism, bro. The 22 vampirism does it. And all of the molten daggers. Oh, yes. Yes, a million times yes. Trillion times yes. Okay. I think I'm just gonna move you down by one. Okay. This was a okay run. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Serpent staff with empowerment? And then bloody daggers. Whoa, this is a build. Whoa, this is a build. I like it though. I am a fan, actually. It feels like he's using the bloody daggers as his survivability. And then they're gonna gain damage because of the empowerment. Not to mention the serpent staff is gonna gain damage because of the empowerment. But I mean it doesn't really need the empowerment. It doesn't it does it just to do it. Wow, okay. I'm gonna slow this one down just a little bit. Cause this is interesting. Very, very interesting. I just realized I don't think we've gotten up to enough heat for this to proc. I don't think we are. Just because these are eating up heat, so realistically, it's just not. It's just not. It's probably. It's not. It's definitely not getting 40. I highly doubt it gets up to 40 heat generation. Berserker mode. What are you gonna do in berserker mode? Ooh, we got 70 poison on us. We're pretty much tied here, for the most part. We used up all of our potions. Berserker mode is over though. Jeez. As soon as Berserker mode ended, he just died. Oh my gosh. As soon as Berserker mode ended, the game was over. We have one more round left. What are we looking for? Mana orbs. Ah. <laughs> Another prismatic orb is probably the only other thing that would help at all. And we're definitely not going to get it. We don't have enough money. Oh, man. We did not get lucky with blueberries or mana orbs or anything. But I mean, I can see the potential in this build. I think it's good to utilize molten daggers to take advantage of the vampirism that you gain from prismatic orbs. I think that's good. Because without the molten daggers, like, you really wouldn't be able to do much. Whoa. Okay. You do not like poison. And then we can't heal. Well, we can, but... He does have a 30% redu reduction on us. Healing buffs as well. And then double blood gooberts. No, that's not. Sorry. A chili goober and a blood goober. Wow. Scary build here. Scary, scary stuff. Scary, scary stuff indeed. And then Burning Banner just taking our buffs too is pretty scary. And then that shield sucks for us because stamina. And he hurts, man. Here, I think we lose this. I say we lose this. I'm predicting it now that we lose. I'd be happy if we don't, but I'm predicting that we do. Hold up. That was huge. That was huge. We have one more potion left. Which just got used. Oh, we win this. We win this. Oh, hold up. That was a really good game, though. That was a really good game. That was a really good game. Damn, though. Oh, I was hoping to win. Man, this Mana Thirst did a lot of damage. Man, healing 1,000. 1,000 from Vampirism, bro. I'm telling you guys, it's not a strong build. I will be honest. I'm glad that I was able to actually, like, make it this far, trying this with uh, Pyromancer. But... Without the Molten Daggers, this would probably be impossible. 32, 32 to 36 damage, and we have 32 Vampirism. Each time this thing hits, 
we just heal, which is pretty nice. I would honestly bet this will be better as a hammer and dagger build. I'm just going to say that. I think it would be better as a hammer and dagger build. The same thing, just with prismatic orbs and probably one hungry blade just to turn the, the regeneration that you're going to get. Turn that into vampirism and just W key that. I think, I think that would be better. But like, I'm surprised we made it this far. I'm very surprised we made it this far. But yeah, Pyromancer is not it. Even though it was fun, I don't think it, like, unless there's a better way, like, unless there's a better way, better items, maybe a different class item, just something to make this just better. Other than that, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't think it's great for this class. But yeah, appreciate you guys watching as always. Then again, we didn't get lucky. I mean, we only had one mana potion to be fair, but you know, eh. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys enjoy your days and yeah, peace out.